Morning everybody. I am out here in the cool central Texas uh, morning weather and enjoying a nice cup of Starbucks which uh, splurged a little this month and bought the grounds and a cigarette. <laughs> uh, I mean, I've really been thinking about quitting, but I don't know, it's just one of those habits, man. Kind of like smoking weed. Uh, of course, I smoke weed for other reasons, too. I mean, naturally, yes, I, I enjoy a, a good buzz, but, you know, it, it tru truly it helps me with... Uh, I, I used to suffer from uh, kind of anxiety problems and mood swings and a little depression, but, man, um, weed, uh, when uh, I use it responsibly, which most of the time I do, once the time I, I zone out, but... Um, it's um, it's very um, good at uh, reducing those symptoms, and it also helps with my joint pain. And today, guys, I slept pretty good, but yesterday, oh my goodness, I um, spent almost the entire day, uh, a good part of it, uh, harassing, terrorizing <laughs> scammers, and. Uh, Dating site scammers is what I'm talking about. And I have a few other videos where I talk about it. But just briefly, they're so obvious. I mean, and uh, you know, there's some that uh, even are just uh, way out of line with the, with the dating site guidelines because they'll have a main profile image. It's pornographic. I mean, no question, it's pornographic. And um, they're trying to uh, redirect you to a, uh, or lure you away to a, adult site and um, so and one of the dating sites I'm on I'm gonna complain to them but that because they have a, a, a an option where you can email a person man that shouldn't be on there because I never and I, I recommend to everybody that uses dating sites or any, anywhere for that matter never share your personal information with someone you hardly know or just met I mean it's, that's that's very unwise and dangerous potentially dangerous um, the uh, I, I can't remember which site I'm on four of them that does that um, but uh, I'm going to complain to them but uh, I had such a good time uh, with the scammer shows I was, I was really nailing a few of them and by that I mean I've gone online uh, you know again I have to mention uh, Merlin uh, Global Group uh, and thank them for their for their fantastic work <laughs> with Malcolm Merlin and the uh, the phantom and, and the, the uh, ominous warnings and it's great man it's great and I'm sure it's very effective and it uh, amazes me that, uh, they deal with a lot of mostly tech support scammers it amazes me that these scammers even continue talk, talking when when it's so obvious that something's not right with the, with the caller <laughs> reporting a, a, a virus but anyway I had um, um uh, I've downloaded the uh, anti-scammer toolset, and I uh, can't use most of it because it's it's only uh, usable on uh, desktop. I wish I had three hands or four. That's what I told this guy online about evolution. Evolution's fucked up. I mean, why did it stop at five fingers or, or, or two arms? Why not have six arms, ten fingers? Anyway, um, but. Uh, um, so I got the tool set and I also have investigated uh, ways to, uh, you know, um, investigate them. And, uh, one of the real simple ones is if they, if they give a phone number, and a lot of them do right on the profile image, you know, that, then you know, the write over feature uh, on, on an image, they'll write their uh, phone number right there. Text me, baby. And um, so I do. <laughs> and uh, then I'll, uh, oh, well, before I do, I, um, Google their uh, area code, and if it doesn't match what their profile says, which in this case, several of them didn't. This I'm talking about one in particular. Uh, their uh, profile said they were in uh, New York, Wichita, something like that, Wichita, Kansas. And but the area code was 669, which is uh, San Francisco, Oakland, uh, Bay Area area code, and um, Bay Area area code. <laughs> um, so I uh, <coughs> eased myself in, pretending to be uh, 
taken by their profile and very interested in them. So we exchanged a, a few messages and then I, uh, I approached this one a little different because, you know, I, 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 I suddenly, uh, like uh, Malcolm Merlin, the, the, the Mal Malcolm Merlin movie figured that I uh, sunk an arrow right into him and um, I asked him, why did your profile say you're from such and such city and your area code says uh, otherwise? Well, the response I got was, you know, sort of credible because they said that, um, you know, they had moved and kept the same phone number. So uh, I checked the phone number again with a little more details. I have a reverse search, uh, been, verifi been verified people looker, some other investigative tools. Very, very... Um, efficient when you're trying to uh, detect uh, scammers but um, it said it was a landline and they were claiming it was a cell so we went on and on for a while and um, I, uh, <laughs> my sixth finger didn't hold on to this cup very good I um, <clears throat> um the next message, uh, I dropped all my uh, little girl images, flipping the bird <laughs> on them. I love them. I mean, you know, it, in a way, it's a little, I guess, creepy, you know, that, that these um, parents uh, allow their um, young young daughters to uh, pose like that. But then again, it's, it's humorous because it's harmless, man. I mean, you don't want to t teach a kid very bad habits, but young girls... They need a few weapons in their toolbox for the for the boys when the boys start coming after them. You know, um, tell your young daughters that a, a flipping the bird is a good one, but like I've said in another video, a good swift kick in the nuts <laughs> or some pepper thrown in the eyes. Hmm. That'll keep those bully bully types away. But uh, anyway, so I I, um, I, I, I smithereened them. Like as I like to say, with those images, I have some fuck you images, uh, and of course, uh, I hope I'm not violating any c copyright or anything by using the uh, Merlin Global Group Phantom. Oh, if you haven't seen the Merlin Global Group Phantom, that guy's he's scary looking man, creepy looking, you know. And then the message that goes along with it, which I can't attach, I can't. Um, bond them together, meld them together for some reason, but like I said, I'm just using Android, so it's uh, not, uh, <sighs> get back with you later, it's not uh, the greatest at uh, editing, editing features and stuff like that, so, but I got them, and you know, surprisingly, they didn't stop, um, also have uh, downloaded official government um, seals, uh, FBI, CIA, Department of Homeland Security. Uh, I actually have one from Interpol. And um, so uh, in case uh, I suspect that they're operating uh, out of the country. And, um, you know, man, I was blasting this uh, <laughs> person. And you know what? Stupid me, I was using my real phone. I was texting with my real phone. There. Ah, what an amateur mistake. So I've already changed my number. And, um, but, uh, you know, I blocked them. And I'll be doggone if they didn't come, come back and email me. I was like, how in the hell? But then I realized that on that site, they were on that site that lets them email you, email a user. So I've, I've uh, deleted that email account, and I got, I've already created two others. So, you know, the uh, the scammers got a they got a little few uh, counter punches in, but I kicked their ass, and I'm going to continue to kick their asses because they need it, guys. And uh, if you are um, a person who uh, is uh, really getting tired of the evil in this world especially in our own country, um, you might consider joining us in um, fighting uh, these people who are stealing money from 
innocent people. And uh, I got a real good one the other day, and I'm still working on this guy. He claimed to be a British banker uh, that dealt with estates, estate uh, liquidations. He said he had a an, an unclaimed estate valued at over 16.9 British pounds and that if I agreed I could come forth as a claimant as a, and uh, he would fix the paperwork where it would show that I'm a, a legitimate claimant entitled to these this estate's funds and that after that's processed that and, and the payment is dispersed that he and I will split it. <laughs> but uh, I haven't yet investigated uh, Britain's uh, estate laws and, and especially when it comes to probating you know, so I'm gonna do that but I hit him back and and kind of um, I should have been a little less you know I kind of hinted around that uh, too much that uh, I thought he was full of shit, but I should have just let him think he had uh, uh, set the hook and that something was going to happen here because he, he didn't say, you know, he said we'll split the funds, but, uh, you know, he didn't say exactly how that was going to occur, but I'm sure there was going to be, well, no, yeah, I'm absolutely sure there was going to be some up upfront fee that I'll have to pay. That's always the way they do it. Um, Anyway, it's uh, it's gonna be interesting to see how that <coughs> excuse me that saga pans out, and uh, I also get telemarketing calls, and uh, man, I don't know where these people get my number, and I'm gonna be highly pissed when I find out who's um, selling it or sharing it with um, strangers. You know, it's got to be someone online, and and. Uh, so, where possible, I'm not going to give my phone number. I don't care what it is, you know, make it a purchase. I don't care. I'm not going to give my phone number. Or I'll give a phony one. And, um, because, uh, you know, that's, that's stupid to give out a phone number. But, uh, anyway, I'm going to continue with these operations. Continue to learn more about it and, um, and uh, hopefully shut down as many of these evil people as I can. Um, if you notice today, I am, you know, it's backward on this doggone video. I hope it's not on the real one. I am decked out in full West Virginia Mountaineers battle array. That's my home state. Very proud of where I'm from. Uh, it's a beautiful state. And uh, <laughs> my early onset Parkinson's kicking in. <laughs> but it's a beautiful state. And I would... Uh, like to recommend that you guys visit there if you can um, because my state is uh, very economically depressed still you know, since the days of the coal mine the coal, coal mining mechanization mountaintop removal which is rape of our mountain sides mountains they just swipe the whole top of a mountain off you know uh, scrape the coal out these huge, I mean, these machines are so huge, the tires are t twice as tall as a man. <laughs> and, uh, but then they scrape the dirt into the uh, adjacent uh, valleys and, and, and uh, block the, the uh, drainage and, and poison the streams. It's just, it, it's stupid. But anyway, West Virginia is a beautiful state. The people are, are very kind, very generous, very nice people. And some have been there. Um, their families have been there for generations, and uh, mine was too until we migrated south to North Carolina and then on to Texas. And so visit there, man. That's their their economy is um, based so much now on uh, tourism. And um, so guys, visit there and uh, support the good people. And because uh, I'm sure they get tired of flipping burgers at McDonald's, so. Anyway, guys, I'm going to wrap this up. Uh, thanks for joining me. And, um, no, you can't have the rest of my coffee. Um, guys, um, please, uh, 
uh, at least comment, and I would appreciate it if you would subscribe because, uh, oh, you know, I, I love making these videos. It's really effortless, you know. The things I talk about aren't necessarily effortless, you know, especially the uh, dealing with these scammers. But I'm retired, and, you know, so I got, I got plenty of time to do that. And it's just very emotionally draining. But um, subscribe, if you will, and um, comment. Love to hear your comments. Um, and so, um, so I can improve, improve things. And uh, suggestions are, are great, too. So, all right, guys. Thanks. And I will see you guys next time.